हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर नर्सेस प्रिपरेशन आई एम नीरज कुमार कैथल टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर अपकमिंग एम्स नॉर्थ एट एग्जाम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर पोर्ट्रेइंग सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट फ्रॉम फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम सो एवरी वन लेट्स बिगेन आर टूडे वीडियो फर्स्ट डिस्कस अबाउट द फेलोपियन ट्यूब फेलोपियन ट्यूब ऑल्सो नोन एज ओविडक्ट और यूट्राइन ट्यूब्स देयर लेंथ अप्रोक्सीमेटली टेन सेंटीमीटर फेलोपियन ट्यूब्स आर द होलो सिलेंड्रिकल ट्यूब दे आर सिचुएटेड लेटरल एंगल्स ऑफ द फंडल एंड ऑफ यूट्रस एंड टर्मिनेट्स नियर द ओवरी जस्ट सपोज दिस इज द यूट्रस This is the uterus, and these are the lateral angles of the uterus. The fallopian tube begins from this part and terminates at near the ovary. Next point, important inner layer lined by ciliated columnar epithelium. Inner layer of the fallopian tube is lined by ciliated columnar epithelium. सीलिएटेड मीन्स हेयर लाइक सब्सटेंस हेयर लाइक ग्रोथ दैट हेल्प इन द मूवमेंट ऑफ स्पर्म्स टूवर्ड्स द ओवरी एंड आफ्टर फर्टिलाइजेशन फर्टिलाइज ओवा रीज टू द यूट्रस विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस सीलिया सो फेलोपियन ट्यूब इज लाइन बाय सीलिएटेड कॉल्यूनर एपिथीलियम Cilia helps in the movement of sperm towards ovary and fertilized ovum towards the uterus. You can take a screenshot. Now let's talk about the parts of fallopian tube. For the study purpose, we can classify the fallopian tube in four parts. First, intramural or interstitial part. Second one one is isthmus. third is ampulla and the fourth one is infundibulum let's first talk about the intramural or interstitial part this parts lying in uterine wall it is near to the uterus this is uh, in interstitial part of fallopian tube is a narrowest part its total length 1.25 cm and its diameter 1 mm second part is isthmus its total length is about 2.3 cm and its diameter 2 mm third part is the ampulla part it is a very important many times question directly asked from this part this is the ampulla part is a widest and longest part of the fallopian tube its total length approximately 6 cm and its diameter 5 mm it is also known as the site of fertilization fertilization is a process in which male gamete sperm get combined with the female gamete ovum and forms zygote last fourth part of the fallopian tube is infundibulum with fimbrae fimbrae is a finger like projection there are total 20 to 25 finger like projections fimbrae are situated length of the infundibulum part of fallopian tube is approximately 1.25 cm and its total di diameter 5 mm another term that is asked in exam is salpingography salpingography is a x ray of fallopian tube in this type of procedure contrast medium was injected in the fallopian tube and x ray is taken by the help of this method we check is there is any blockage is present or not it is mainly done to diagnose the infertility you can take a screenshot now let's talk about the zygote zygote is also known as fertilized ovum zygote is formed by the union of ovum and sperm जाइ दिस सेल और जाइगोट अप टू पीरियड ऑफ टू वीक्स यूनियन ऑफ 
ovum and sperm forms a cell known as zygote this cell up to period of 2 weeks known as zygote initially zygote develops in fallopian tube up to 3 to 7 days then develop into uterine cavity zygote for 7 days develop into the fallopian tube after 7 days it get implanted into the wall of uterus and further development takes place in the uterus now uterine pacemaker as we all know SA node is known as the pacemaker of heart it generate impulses same in uterus one pacemaker one or two pacemakers are found location uterine pacemakers are found in corona of uterus this is the point where fallopian tube and uterus meet uterine pacemaker is situated in corona of uterus corona of uterus is a point where fallopian tube and uterus met uterine pacemaker may be one or two in number they stimulate contraction of myometrium during the labor during the time of labor uterine contractions occur these uterine contractions are due to the uh, uterine pacemaker structure now let's talk about the dimensions of uterus 7.5 5 and 2.5 7.5 cm long 5 cm in width and 2.5 cm in thickness is the dimension of uterus in non pregnant stage the weight of uterus is approximately 60 grams inner lining of uterus is known as endometrium inner lining of the uterus is known as endometrium and this endometrium layer during the pregnancy called decidua during the time of pregnancy endometrium layer is also known as decidua now let's talk about the pH of vagina normal pH of vagina is 3.5 to 4.5 it is highly acidic the acidic pH of vagina is due to the presence of lactobacillus acidophilus or deodorant bacilli bacteria they convert glycogen into lactic acid so the vagina, vaginal pH become acidic next ovulation ovulation is a release of oocyte due to rupture of graphene follicle from ovary for conception ovulation is a process by which oocyte is released from the graphene follicle remember this sequence first ugonium is formed ugonium is converted into oocyte and from oocyte ovum is formed next ovulation 14 day prior to next period this is best time for conception ovulation occurs at 14 day of the 14 day prior to the next period and this is the best time for conceiving or conception ovary secretes three main hormones these are estrogen progesterone inhibin estrogen progesterone and inhibin now let's talk about the estrogen estrogen is secreted by the theca cell of ovarian follicle estrogen hormone is secreted by the theca cell of ovarian follicles now let's talk about the important functions of estrogen first it promotes development and maintenance of the female reproductive system deficiency of estrogen hormone may cause atrophic vaginitis estrogen hormone is very essential for the development and maintenance of the female reproductive system if a female have estrogen deficiency 
she may suffer with atrophic vaginitis this atrophic vaginitis condition normally occurs after the menopause but during the uh, time of reproductive age female don't have the estrogen in proper amount she may suffer with the atrophic vaginitis disease in atrophic vaginitis condition thinning and dryness of vaginal epithelium occurs thinning and dryness of vaginal epithelium is known as atrophic vaginitis next point is estrogen is also helpful in the development of secondary sexual characteristics and breast third point estrogen hormone lowers the cholesterol level next breast or mammary gland are large modified apocrine sweat glands breast or mammary gland are the large modified apocrine sweat glands next thalarchy is a first sign of puberty and thalarchy means development of breast it normally occurs at 13th year of age thalarchy means development of breast or breast buds it is also known as the first sign of puberty it normally occurs at 13th year of age in female onset of menarche is a last sign of pubertal development menarche means starting of menstruation or first menstruation menarche is also known as the last sign of pubertal development obstetrical perineum obstetrical perineum it is a pyramidal shaped tissue where pelvic floor and perineal muscles and fascia meet in between vagina and anal canal obstetrical perineum is a area found between the vagina and anal canal it is a pyramidal shaped tissue formed by the joining of pelvic floor perineal muscles and fascia next point breast have 12 to 20 lobes each lobe have 10 to 100 lobules lobules contain alveoli and alveoli are lined by acne cells acne cells which secrete milk so these acne cells are known as functional unit of the breast important acne cells are the functional unit of the breast next point high concentration of estrogen in blood causes ovulation high concentration of estrogen hormone in blood causes ovulation high estrogen level few days before ovulation causes increased secretion of lh and gnrh lh stands for luteinizing hormone and gnrh stands for gonadotropin releasing hormone by positive feedback mechanism which causes ovulation let it explain again increased estrogen level in blood causes secretion of lh and gnrh hormone after this ovulation occurs cervix length of cervix is approximately 1 inch or 2.5 cm mullerian duct mullerian duct is a structure that forms uterus vagina fallopian tube next fsh stimulates oocyte maturation follicle stimulating hormone is responsible for the maturation of oocyte ovum is a largest cell in female its diameter 0.13 mm or 130 micron viability of 
into female genital tract. Ovum's viability or viability period is 12 to 24 hours where sperm is viable for 48 to 72 hours in female genital tract. Progesterone holds pregnancy by inhibiting uterine motility. Progesterone hormone holds or maintain pregnancy by inhibiting uterine motility. Corpus luteum secretes progesterone, estrogen, relaxing and inhibiting which maintain pregnancy till development of placenta approximately up to 12 weeks. Before the development of placenta, pregnancy is maintained by the corpus luteum. To maintain the pregnancy, corpus luteum secretes progesterone estrogen, relaxing, and inhibiting hormone. So friends, this was our today's video. How was the video? Please write down your feedback in comment section. Thanks for watching and all the best.